Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here, and welcome to episode 90 of our Track Suit to the Top series here with Lewis FC in the Premier League. And today I've got for you guys a video, but before you watch this video, if you missed episode 89, and I say this often, I really mean it this time, if you missed last episode, you have to watch it. If you, if you continue to watch this, you will... I don't, I'll turn up at your house and throw stones at your win bedroom window while you try and sleep. Like, you need to watch it. You need to go back. So if you didn't see it, go watch it. If you saw it, then you'll know what it was all about. And you may even want to go and re-watch it. I don't know. Anyway, today we have for you guys the Champions League quarter-final against Schalke. Uh, since the last episode, just two games to tell you about. Two 1-0 results. One 1-0 defeat against Stoke. Really disappointing, that one. But we did then bounce back with a 1-0 win against Manchester. Manchester. Where have I got Manchester from? I don't even know. With Newcastle. I feel like I'm still riding on a little bit of a high from the last episode, which, of course, was the Barcelona 3-0 win, which I, I, I still don't know what to say, if I'm honest. Incredible. Anyway, uh, since then, we've actually had a lot of injuries here. Sores was already out injured. John Carlos Martinez was already out injured. Juan Carlos Leon got injured. That was an annoyance. He's torn his groin. He's been out for a number of weeks. He's out for another two to three weeks. Probably won't even be back for the second leg of this tie. Haas is back from injury. Ihi Nacho did have an injury, so he's not 100%. As you can see, Haas is barely fit, really, for today's game. But um, the injuries really hit us hard. Going into one of our games, I actually had to play Joe Manning. Not Joe Manning. That would be weird if I had to play him up front. We had to play Dean Marks up front, the... Northern Irish international, a player who I got in on a free at the start of the season thinking, well, I'll get him in case of emergencies and he'll probably never play. Well, he ended up having to play two games. He didn't do a lot for us in those two games, but it was a good job we had him because he actually was there to do something. But anyway, uh, today we continue on in our Champions League campaign against uh, Schalke. There is the Man City game in between. I don't think I'm going to live cut on that one just because... I don't feel like doing a longer episode because of where I am at the moment. I'm back living with my parents in my parents' house. Um, they interrupt all the time and it's an annoyance. So long live episodes, I have to kind of reserve the house. So first world problems. First world problems. Anyway, uh, just to look at the league table. I didn't talk about this last episode, but because of our slipping up, uh, Manchester United actually went ahead of us and they are still ahead of us here. As you can see, they have seven games left. We have six games left. And uh, they're two points ahead of us, and they've got a game in hand. So we need results to go our way there. We have got them sooner rather than later in the FA Cups. So that's worth looking forward to. But uh, today we are going to do the first and second leg. I'm going to stick both this first leg against Schalke and the second one together. Uh, despite me not doing the game in between. And I'll probably record them at separate times. But you guys won't know because we'll use the magic of editing to make it seem, seem flawless. Anyway, let's get into today's game. Oh, Okay, well, I think my game just crashed, unless I hit the close button by mistake. Brilliant. Right, well, I'll be back in a second, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play our game. So, apparently, I hit the close button, not the continue button, according to my PC. I'm pretty sure I hit continue. I'm going to have to watch you back in the video software. Fortunately, I had saved it just before I started recording, so, no progress is lost and my team is already picked. Excellent. Right, can we continue this time? We can. There's no crashes happening. This is wonderful. That's the first time FM has ever crashed on me during a live com. And I've done over 500 videos, so that's kind of an achievement in itself. But anyway, here's the team that we're going to use today. Actually, we need to swap Haas at Ihi Nacho. That is the one change we did make. Anyway, let's get into this game, the first leg. I don't want to leave ourselves in a situation like the one we left it ourselves in against Barcelona. But this isn't going to be easy because we have got a few injuries. I think Juan Carlos Leon missing is going to be a huge miss. Actually looking at this Schalke side, they've got a pretty solid squad of like, you know, German players that you'd try and pick up if you could. Let's just have a quick look. They've got um, Goretzka. They've got Maximilian Meyer, they've got Julian Draxler, they've, they've got some big names. But anyway, we, we can't get kind of bogged down on the big names. This is where we need to start performing. Schalke have actually become a bit of a powerhouse in Germany on this save, so that is worth kind of considering, but we'll see how we get on here. We're going for the win, two legs. It's a two-legged race, we can win this. I think. I, no, we can win this. I've got absolute faith. I feel like Deruva actually used to play for us. Why do I think? I think he might have done. 
I feel like he did. Oh no, he didn't play for us. I think I was going to sign him and then Fulham signed him or something. Bloody Fulham. Still in my signings. But anyway, we got we can't worry about that. But he's a very good player. So we've got to be wary of him out on the right. But we're on the attack here. We have our own threats. We've got Iheen Nacho and Matthew Lewis. And there is one of them with the shot blocked, however. Apparently that was a clear-cut chance. Now, Mac Lewis, a little bit unlucky there. But it's okay. First 25 minutes. Um, we're in control of the game, but neither team's having that many shots. Very few chances. We're edging possession, um, but nothing's happening. Nothing is happening right now. We're just in charge. Well, we have a set piece here. Can the ball get in at the second time of asking? Matthew Lewis. No, don't, don't give them the ball for the counter-attack, Matthew. Oh, dear. They're on the attack. Marinov. Deruva, Harian, come on boys, let's hit them on the break now, let's counter the counter, Sonogo, that's a disgusting tackle, get him off ref, disgusting, give him the red card, oh okay, I assumed it was one of these petty fouls and wasn't going to lead it to anything, but apparently something is going to come of this, but will it be our way? Battagelli, Matthew Lewis, use your pace. Or, or, or just run straight into the Oh gosh, now they're using their pace. But right, my just, just barges number nine off the ball. Now we're on the break. We need a good first leg here. We're at home. A clean sheet could be important with away goals being a factor. And we're on the attack here. Matthew Lewis. Ihe Nacho kicks it straight into the goalkeeper's hands. What a chance that was. What a chance that was. Matthew Lewis with the corner. Akore's there. Knocks it back into the mixer. But now Maya looking to break with one minute left for Schalke. Where is our midfield? Why is no one working back? Why have they got so many men? Draxler. Marinov. Kuaku. What a save. What a save by the Ivorian. And he keeps the scores all level at half time. I'm going to tell the players I've not been happy. Look at that. Fired up. Don't even want to tell them anything else. I just want to tell them I'm not happy and let them do the talking on the pitch. But an okay start for us. We're actually in control of this game statistically, but statistics never win you matches. Goals win you matches, and there hasn't been one yet. Schalke, you'd feel they're going to have to come out better in this second half, and they are on the attack here. They are in possession. Maya, Deruva cutting inside. Marinov, Kuaku with another good save. That was a good opportunity, though, for Schalke. But Kuaku held firm at the back. And that's a warning for us. Looking at it, they've not had loads of this second half just yet. But Schalke's still there. I'm going to take off Ihi Nacho for Haas. Pedreira's struggling at left mid. So we're going to bring on Edda. And we'll go with those two changes for now. Maybe Alexander Haas, the German international coming back from injury. Maybe he can have an impact here. It's worth noting as well, right, Meyer? Our centre-back originally played for Schalke. We signed him for under a million pounds, and he's turned into a great player for us, but playing against his former club today, he's had a good game so far, but we need a goal. We need a goal. Right, Meyer, with another good save there. Now, Batagelli, Sonogo. Can we break Haas? Lewis, bang that. Matthew Lewis with the goal. His 65th of the season. I don't know how many he's going to end up getting, but with the goal-scoring form he's in, it's going to be a lot. If he can get over 70, that's just inhuman. But he's got another one for his collection there. Alexander Haas, the German sub, coming on, making an impact. A great little place finish. And the Lewis fans in the stadium are going absolutely mental. If we could get a few more, that would be great. If we could keep a clean sheet, that would be better. Although Schalke on the attack here. Marinov probably should have done better there. But Kuwaku with another good save. Not for the first time this game. Looking at the stats, we've been the better team. Schalke occasionally hit us on the break. And that's a little bit of a concern here. But I kind of feel like we have to stick to our attacking game plan. Although they're on the attack again here. Draxler whips in the ball. Deruva misses an open goal for Schalke. Well, we've been warned. But I'm, I'm ignoring the warnings. We're staying with our current system. Um, let's make our last remaining sub. Let's drop Mitchell and Batagelli deeper. Let's do this. Apparently, Sonogo's looking a bit tired. But we're going to park the bus. We're going to go with Imba and Mitchell playing defensive mid just for the last 10 minutes. Drop a little bit deeper for us. Hopefully, that won't cost us too much. But I want to give the defenders a bit more coverage. Is Imba the sub with a good tackle? Can we build from this? China, Imba. 
Mitchell, Batagelli, Haas, Matthew Lewis with a run in behind. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. Haas! Oh, what a goal that would have been. What a goal that would have been. A, a great little run there. But still chances. Oh, Mitchell with the tackle. Spread it. Haas is there. Go on. Go on, Alexander. Oh, he misses it. That was his chance coming back from injury to kind of, you know, get a good start back. And he's missed an open goal. And, well, it looks like we're going to win this. I don't want to say that too soon. Oh, God, I've said it too soon. I've said it too soon. Good tackle, Mitchell. Okay, now we break. Use our pace. But this is going to be a good result if it stays this way. Lewis. Imbert. Batagelli. Out wide to China. This will do. Minute and a half left. If we could get a late goal here, that would be fantastic. Just get it away, Kuaku, but not there. Don't just give it to them. Oh, dear. Schalke on the attack. Draxler, Kuaku with another save. Take a bow, my son. Schalke having plenty of clear-cut chances here. That was almost another one there from the corner, but we look like we're going to hold firm here. We look like we're going to take a lead into the first leg and maybe, maybe just open up the possibility, the slim chance that we could reach the Champions League semi-final. Haas, oh, if he could have put through the ball there, we could score another and be clear. But you know what? 1-0 after the first leg, a good defensive performance by Kuwaku in goal. I'm very happy with that performance, boys. More of that in the second leg, and we will be right on our way uh, to the Champions League semi-final. Looking at it as well, Chelsea winning 6-2. Uh, a good result for them in their first leg, but we played well. Right, my getting the Man of the Match award against his former club. Hopefully, you can do more of that in the second leg. I will talk to you guys in just a second when we'll pick up from where we've just left. Okay, guys, so we are back, and it's actually been a few days in real time since I last played this save. An abnormal break for me. Just the one game to tell you about since the first leg against Schalke. It was a 2-1 win for Manchester City against us. Nightmare result, really. China and Vladimir Orlando also getting injured. To be honest, Man City by far and away the better the team. Kind of deserved their win, and uh, that was a good result for them. Fortunately for us, both Liverpool and Manchester United both lost. So this was a really good weekend, I guess, for Manchester City. It does mean that looking at the league table as it is right now, Manchester United still in a better situation than us in terms of they've got that game in hand and they're still two points clear, but it hasn't cost us as much that defeat. And you can also see Liverpool, who do have a game in hand on us, with their defeat, um, it means they can't close the five-point gap that exists and that could be a two-point gap should they win their game in hand. Anyway, uh, today we are going to be picking back up with the Ch Schalke game, not going to be focusing on the league. Next episode, I should tell you guys, is probably going to be the game against Manchester United in the FA Cup semi-finals. That's going to be another big episode there. But right here and now, we need to focus on this Schalke game. So hopefully we can get a result. 1-0 after the first leg, but away from home, not going to be easy. I've got some players back from injury, though, which is good news. Unfortunately for us, Juan Carlos Leon is still injured. Soros is still not 100%, although he is going to be on the bench. Haas is back in near full fitness, which is good news for us. He's, he's a big miss, really, this goal scorer. And uh, good to have him back in the side. He was doing good this year, and he was also quite good at right mid when we needed him there. And speaking of right mids, Jean-Carlos Martinez also back. Suffered a little bit from his injury, declined a little bit as a player, but four weeks out with a sprained ankle, but good to have him back for this big game. Although he's not 100% fit, and that is certainly something that we are going to have to keep an eye on. Anyway, let's submit our team, get it locked in. This is the big game. Matthew Lewis, 17 goals in the Champions League already. Can he get some more? That is the question. I should also point out, actually, that after the previous leg against Barcelona, Barcelona, we broke the goal scoring record for goals in a Champions League campaign, which is kind of crazy when you consider that we are only now in the quarter final, and this was before the quarter final. So I'm looking for us to perhaps uh, score a few more. If we could set an even higher bar, I guess, for that record, that would be fantastic. But first and foremost, we need the win, and so no go after 45 seconds gets us the away goal and now that means Schalke need three goals that is a big goal for us of course Schalke two would not be enough for them now because of the one away goal we have and Eric Sonogo coming big for us there I once called him the Charlie Adam of Lewis many years ago I'd like to issue a public apology because Charlie Adam did not score a free kick for Blackpool in the Champions League like he has just there. But anyway, we can't get too carried away. 
Of course, as I mentioned, they will need three goals now, but that's not an excuse to not defend. And they have a chance here. Marinov pegs us straight back. Two goals in the first three minutes of the game. And Schalke back in this. Of course, there is no extra time now. This will be decided after 90 minutes. And it's a bit of an athletic finish there. Kuaku a little bit slow responding to the rebound. Initial effort hitting the post. Both teams conceding early on. Maybe this is going to be one of those crazy games of FM. Hopefully not. I'm I'm looking for a nice boring game where we maybe get a comfortable win. But um, that does not happen very often. And Schalke on the attack here. Daruva cutting inside. Marinov. Scores again for them, but it's offside. The linesman has his flag raised, and that has been chalked off right there, and that's a let off. Looking at the stats, it's actually a really close 50-50 game. Schalke have broken on us a few times, and so we need to be wary of that. They are playing with a lot of men in the final third, it's worth noting. That's something that I have kind of got to keep an eye on. Matthew Lewis, effort, that was going way wide there. A poor effort. But um, no, you can see, they, they. I noticed in the pre-matching, they were playing a 4-4-2, but their two wide men are very, very attacking. Matthew Lewis, where are you going? What a goal that could have been. Unfortunately, the finish just not there. But um, that's going to be something that we have to be wary of, is their attacking presence, because that is going to hurt us uh, with our back three. However, oh, Matthew Lewis, rebound, can't get there. However, what I'm hoping is that in this kind of situation here... We're going to be able to get in behind their wide men on the attack and potentially hit them on the break. Looking at the stats, we are dominating possession. But, of course, the sheer men that Schalke are throwing forward is always going to be a threat. And there is a highlight here, although we've managed to get it away. And now Haas running through, back from injury. Sonogo already won to his name. Fred's in Matthew Lewis, who smashes it in. But it's offside. I'm not even going to celebrate. The linesman with his flag raised denies... A goal, not for the first time this game, the, the offside rule has come into play and both teams could potentially have a goal here. A goal here would be fairly big, it would again put pressure on Schalke to go out there and score a lot more. And we've got a chance here, Batagelli hits the woodwork. Another real chance, three clear-cut chances for us so far. I think they've all come since we scored and Harian scores the corner. It doesn't, oh, it doesn't even matter, it's Draxler with the own goal apparently. I don't care. 2-1 and now... Schalke need three again. They need four on the night. They need three more from this point onwards. Draxler on the line trying to head it clear but could only head it into the crossbar and it came back and hit him, I believe. Um, we're doing okay at the moment. We're dominating possession. This is a very, very good performance in this competition and we need more of this. But um, we could well be on our way to a Champions League semi-final here. Of course, in the last round, we had a memorable night at the Lewis Stadium as we beat um, Barca. And now we have a chance, Matthew Lewis, with the rebound. But that was saved there after Haas' initial effort. Can we make the set-piece count again? We can't this time. Ball will be cleared. Lewis is still out wide. But the ball to him is not good. And somehow he's kept it in, but... Goretzka committing a foul. I don't think this is going to amount to anything, but we do have a set piece here. Lewis takes, whips it in a core, lurking at the edge of the area. And, uh, yeah, hasn't amounted to anything. But looking like it could well be 2-1 at the break with three minutes left. We've been very good. Right, Meyer apparently making a lot of mistakes. Well, they've not cost us on the scoreline. 2-1 up on the night, 3-1 up on aggregate. Schalke need to score three in this second half, a win on the night, 4-2 to go through because of away goals. We've got two away goals. That is huge for us. And now we just need to see this game out from a very, very, very commanding position. I mean, look at the stats. We've been dominant here. But Schalke, you'd expect to turn it around. You know, they're at home. You expect to see them really turn up their performance and play better. And they're on the attack here. Draxler can only slide the ball wide there. And... We are given a lifeline there, a very fortunate one as well. Oh boy, this is this is intense. If we could get to the semi-final, that would be incredible. 55 minutes, I might look to make a sub in the next 5-10 minutes, depending on how legs are going. You can see here, actually, most of our players staying fairly fit on the night, which is fairly good. Matthew Lewis not having his greatest game, only a 6.0, but we'll keep him on. I, I have faith in him, he's the kind of player who... He'll have a bad game, and then he'll just turn up with one massive goal when it matters. And Schalke on the attack to Ruva this time, going on his own. A few wasted opportunities, you'd have to say, for Schalke here. Those wide men cutting inside, Draxler out one side and De Ruva out the other, but they've not done anything with it, and now we're on the attack here. Harry on the centre-back, he's got forward here. He's kind of he's, he's looking for the pass, and there's no one there. Now Batagelli's there, Sonogo, Sonogo, go on, penalty! 
and now we have a chance to go through. Matthew Lewis will be on this spot kick. This is to make it 4-1 on aggregate and put Schalke in an impossible position of needing four in the last 20 minutes. Matthew Lewis, you haven't done a lot this game, but can you add to your goal scoring tally? He can't. He misses rebound. Saved again. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Haas is not looking great. He's got a little bit of a knock. Let's take him off. Let's bring on Nacho. Giancarlo Martinez struggling a little bit too, but we'll have to stick with him. But that's a penalty miss. So no go here. Long range free kick blocked. Can we do anything with the second ball? Ihi Nacho's there. The sub. Kelechi Lewis somewhat redeems himself there from the penalty miss. His 66th goal of the series. Of the series of the season. He's got a lot more of that than that this series. But um, he's getting a lot this year. And that's another one for him. Kelechi coming on as the sub. Unselfishly laying off to his long term teammate and Keeper in goal with a, a bit of a howler there, but I am not going to complain one little bit. And I'm pretty confident in saying now that that's the game. I mean, Schalke on the attack there almost looked like they could grab a goal, but unfortunately for them, it's going to be cleared away. And I think that's all she wrote here. 15 minutes left on the clock. Schalke with it all to do now. All of it. We are 4-1 up on aggregate. We're looking dominant. We've been the better team away from home. We've really taken the game to them. We've shown no, no kind of fear sticking with the free at the back system despite them throwing men forward. And uh, right now it's working at wonders for us. We're going to make two little changes here. Get on some fresh legs in Paul Scholes and um, also Edda, the Brazilian, a player who, of course, we signed in January, Edda. Not played too much football yet this year. I am retraining him to play right mid, and when we were going through our injury crisis recently, I was really annoyed, I guess, the fact that he wasn't already familiar with right mid because he would have been an ideal player to kind of step up and play then. And we have a chance here. Matthew Lewis, can he make it four on the night? He hits the crossbar. That was a chance for humiliation. Schalke have been poor here. We have outperformed them everywhere. And that is pleasing. And even if we concede now, we are on our way to a Champions League semi-final. Has the ball gone over the line there? Apparently it has somehow. So unfortunate for Kuaku in goal there. I'm almost curious to see if this did cross the line. Maya with the effort. Kuaku... Pulls it back and yes, it is marginally, and I really mean marginally, over the line there. However, that is not going to impact our result. It's not going to hinder the celebrations. We are on our way to the Champions League semi-final where we could potentially play one of three teams. Who those three teams are, I have no idea. We'll watch the draw at the end of this episode as I believe it comes up fairly soon. And wow, Lewis, oh, he had a chance. Sonogo, oh dear, oh dear, that was a lot of chances to add another goal. Well, our finishing hasn't been great here, but it hasn't mattered too much because we've taken enough of the chances. But in terms of a conversion kind of percentage, it's been pretty poor, really, this game. Matthew Lewis on the run, it's, it's full time. It, that's game 3 2 on the night, 4 2 on aggregate. Sonogo with a great performance, getting the Man of the Match award. And against the odds, we go marching on again. And now the question is, who could we play? Well, Chelsea are through after two 6-4 wins against Athletic Bilbao. Is that Bilbao? It is. And then in the other semi-final, can we see who else is in it? P Manchester United are in it and PSG are in it. So we have the option of Chelsea, Manchester United or PSG. Honestly, there's not really a nice option there. But you've got to be all the teams to kind of win a tournament and that is going to be the challenge in front of us we've got a few nice league games coming up charlton charlton cardiff i don't know where i've got charlton from there um bomb the league on our next game we can't take that for granted of course that will be played between this and the next episode but i'll tell you what i'm pretty happy with this season so far We've had a good year. It'd be disappointing not to win anything. The league table is going to be tough. And the league is going to be tough this year to win because of the situation we're in. But I've got hope that if we can win something this year, it's been a great year. Um, let's put automatic draw on for tension. I'd like... I wouldn't like any of them, if I'm honest. I really is. Preferably not United. 
Oh boy, okay, well I jinxed that. We have to take Manchester United on, who are our Premier League rivals. We've got them in the FA Cup too, so... Yeah, we're going to be playing them a fair bit over the next few games, as it turns out. So in terms of what I'm going to do next episode, we've got so many big games in a row. I think next episode we'll do the FA Cup semi-final. The episode after that, we might do the Champions League semi-final first leg and the Chelsea game together. And then we'll come back for a separate episode for the Manchester United one. Now, there is going to have been a lot of episodes this year, this year, this this season, I guess, in game. I think we're up to over 10 now, making this the most videos in a season. But there's been so many kind of twists and turns in our season. Um, hopefully, you guys will be jumping along for the rest of the ride. It's going to be one hell of an end to the season. Uh, but yeah, that is going to wrap things up for today. Another good win. Hopefully we can keep on marching on in the Champions League. A few people have asked, what's the plan at the end of the series? There isn't a planned end of the series. If we were to win the Champions League this year, fantastic. I don't think we will, but if we were to do that, you know, we're in a situation where we can now do it and it is possible, then great. The series isn't going to end there. Same if we were to win the league, same if we were to win the FA Cup, same if we were to win all three. I have long-term aspirations for this club. I'd like to get to a stage where a lot of academy products are in the first team. And um, we've really kind of established Lewis as a, a dominant powerhouse. Uh, I have potentially, long, long term with this save, we're talking months, maybe years, you know, not years. I mean, literally months in real time. I might turn this into a Pentagon challenge. If you don't know what that is, it's a challenge where you have to win the five Champions Leagues of uh, the five different continents. Now, because, of course, we started with Sunday League Rep and Unemployed when we started at Lewis, we've kind of technically done the first leg of the Pentagon Challenge if we win the Champions League before moving on, which we will do. I'm not leaving Lewis until we've done that. But that's an idea that I've had in my mind of maybe retiring at Lewis or maybe even saving the game, continuing a save with Lewis with the same save, but also doing a save kind of parallel to that where I've left Lewis and we're doing the Pentagon instead. Um... I'd like to know your ideas on that as a series. If you have any comments, thoughts on that, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, that's going to wrap things up from me. So thank you so much for watching, guys. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.